I think, yeah, answering your question maybe a little sideways, this group of guys is probably the closest group of friends that I have from that day. And it was because of what we did together as a team and almost as a family. We still, for this week, we have two of the spouses of our, our deceased teammates here with us. And they've always been invited, and I think it will always be that way as long as we're able to continue walking. So, Joe? I'll tell you, winning is not something that you brag about. It just gives you a positive feeling. Anything you try to accomplish, you, you know you can do it. You know, I mean, you would. I wouldn't want to be a mathematician because I don't know math. But in my area, you know, I just feel like I can do anything that anybody else can do in my area. It gives you that inwardly positive approach that you know to life and knowing that you can make it. But it's also the realization that you've done something that very, very, very few people in life get the opportunity to do. Uh, winning a national championship is unique. It puts you in a very elite group of people. And this was an elite group of people before we ever won the national championship. We were all from Ohio except one. Uh, many of us knew each other coming into school and played against each other. And it, it, was, it was just a unique situation. And for the rest of our lives, from that point, we could all say that we <coughs> played on a national championship team, which, as I said, so few people can do. And uh, you, know, you, you hear all the cliches, it's a feather in your cap, it's that, it's that, it's this and that. But more than anything else, uh, as, as, as Dick alluded to, we, we had relationships that were more unique, perhaps, than in winning a national championship. And as Dick has said, it's continued to this day. You know, I need, I text every one of these guys every week. And I, and I talk to some of them every week. Uh, it's important to me to stay in touch with them uh, because we had such a unique and distinct relationship that most teams don't have. And I think that's, that's one of the big reasons we were successful. And we were talking in the, in the last two days. Uh, one of the great things about this team is there was no selfishness among the players on this team. We realized our purpose, we worked hard to attain it, and we accomplished something unique and that very few people have the opportunity to, and we can always say, uh, which I doubt that any of you sitting out there can say, we run a national collegiate basketball championship. And it's a wonderful feeling, continues throughout the rest of your life. You know, uh, Joe, Luke was the, Joe, I'm sorry, hold a second. I want to indicate ahead, this before, before you go further, because I like hearing what he has to say also. But I want to indicate this. After having gone through high school in a very successful high school and then had a great senior year, I, I had achieved a number of things that I felt really good about, that any individual should feel good about. But when we got here, and when I say we because we joined each other before we even chose the college, we joined each other and played together. Uh, but when we won that national championship, as we approached it and got to it, I kept not looking ahead, but simply saying we had a job to do at that time. But when, he, when we actually reached the point where that clock was running down, and we realized we were ahead, obviously, but I, mean, I wasn't even able to feel it until that clock made its last tick. I felt for the first time in my life, and the only time, athletically, what elation felt like. I felt so good, and when I saw the films, I saw myself run around and do things that looked like a little kid, like a little three-year-old running around, jumping in, and having a great time. Well, that's part of what I experienced. It's something that I had never experienced prior to or again athletically. Success athletically, even after that. So it's a feeling, like you heard someone say, it's something you carry within you, and and that has lasted in terms of what I feel about what we accomplished. It was simply the best that you can feel. You know, with uh, look was LeBron James of you guys' time. I don't know if you realize it or not because you're too young. 
He had all the publicity LeBron's had coming out of high school, and he could back it up. I mean, he really, so had he been a selfish player, or if he worked for a corporation and the manager don't get along with everybody, you're not going to be successful. So everything hinged on Luke and his personality as a team player. He didn't care whether he got 30 or 10. You know, he never cried. He was just a consummate team player. So everybody had to fall in line. But if you work for a company and your boss is off kilter, see what happens. You're not going to be successful. Or people are not going to work for you. You know, so with Luke, everybody fell in line and said, hey, let's go get him. And he didn't say anything because he was scared. You know, he's a, as a sophomore, they beat the hell out of him, you know? <laughs> and the guys, I'd gone through that. I'd never want to be a leading scorer. Because a leading scorer, you're going to get tapped. <laughs> so I didn't have the temperament for a guy hitting on me because I was going to hit back. And so Luke, you know, he took it. So I used to tell him, Luke, you can't let him do that. <laughs> he said, what? You got to hit him, hit him. You got to knock him down. You know, a guy would be beating on him, look just like this. I used a sophomore, you know. I said, man, the Big Ten is rough. You can't let them treat you like that. But he would burn them. He would burn them by that. I mean, he'd yeah. score on them even more. He wouldn't join them and be in a position where he could get penalized for doing something, fighting back. But he would burn them. And but I would tell him, like the, you keep letting them hit you like this, you're going to be dead. <laughs> <laughs> I never die. <laughs> he tougher than you thought. Hey, I was beat up more than that. Yeah, Sunset Park in Middletown, Ohio. <laughs> <laughs> you gentlemen.